Next stop, Duplex Avenue. Next stop, Davisville Subway Station. Hey, what's up, homies, boys and girls? Uh, Alex here. Just got off my home route, the 14 Glen Karen, just a less than 15 minute bus ride from my place. And uh, of course, this was a very fast ride. Even Young Street isn't too far from uh, where I live. I mean, it's just three kilometers, but with the help of like a 10 minute, 15 minute drive or bus or whatever the hell you want to call it, it's uh, it, it just it just makes it good. Anyway, it is uh, it is cloudy out here right now in Midtown Toronto. We're at the intersection of Duplex Avenue and uh, Chaplin Crescent here in the affluent Deer Park neighborhood of Toronto. I'm also right next to the uh, Line One subway, Davisville Station, and right there is the uh, you can't even see it. I mean, I didn't I didn't want to film much here because there's so much people, but uh, let me show you here. That building is the Toronto Transit Commission's headquarters at 1900 Young Street. And I think in a few minutes, TTC is going to uh, promote their interim CEO now that Rick Leary's gone. I mean, right now the acting uh, CEO is Bruce McGregor, but there's just so much to like talk about in terms of like how to fix the system and uh, you know, all that shit, it's crazy. I'm not gonna linger around here for, for a while. I wasn't gonna go out today because there was a call for rain. Oh yeah, there's the there's the subway itself. That's a southbound train about to enter Davisville Station and heading downtown. Of course, Davisville is one of the original stations that opened way, way back 1954. That's 70 years ago. And unfortunately, the train's gonna run out of snail's pace as it's going down because of all the stupid problems the tracks have been having and you know it's been frustrating so it's around 1 45 p.m on this friday early afternoon september the 6th 2024 and again i wasn't gonna go out because uh there's a call of rain but it's mostly cloudy there's a little bit of sun that could all change. Like by the time I get home, it's probably gonna start raining. But since I have a break, you know, why not make a walking video? Uh, just a little bit closer to home. And this is considered, uh, well, this is Midtown Toronto, of course. And then in a few minutes, we'll be in the uh, Young and Eglinton neighborhood. A lot of old and new homes here that pretty much resemble the character of uh, Forest Hill and Deer Park itself. I did a walking video on the street last year in the other direction. It is a 97 Young bus, so there's a lot more stores and uh, uh, restaurants along Young. Okay. Maybe that was a bit too fast. And... Uh, I mean, whatever ideas do I got? I mean, I've been making walking videos every day, even though I started school. But the only reason why I came out here is to go get groceries. Like, I always go for groceries at the Fortino's at Lawrence Allen. But I got a bit of time, so. And by the way, I crossed over to this side because there's, because there's a guy walking on the other side. I'm a little bit slow here, so. I don't know where I'm gonna end this video. I don't know if it's gonna be at Eglinton or Roselawn, just somewhere north. And then maybe I'll just walk down, I'll just walk to the subway and catch the uh, 52. So I don't have to use the subway 
at all today. When I did this video last year in the Ever Direction, they were doing a lot of road work here. So you can see that they repaved the, the whole damn street. And you can still hear the subway trains going by. I guess everyone living here is definitely used to that. Yesterday was a pretty good day. I went on an adventure to Mississauga by taking the GO train from Union to Clarkson, then the 110 all the way up to City Center. And then I decided to make a walking video last minute on Dixie Road. Where I just caught where I caught the bus in time. And then I waited at a rent for a station for I don't know how long because I missed the 32. So then I would say, okay, screw it, I'm just gonna take the 109 back down to Kipliv and Subway. And then last minute I just changed to the 63 and then just went home from there. And I should have taken the 32 because the only reason why I went down to Kipling is because I saw the traffic. I saw like freaking dark red lines at Eglinton. And uh, I was like, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get stuck in traffic. But I remember, but after, as soon as I got on the, the 109, a TTC bus came, obviously on the 32. So I was like, okay, let me just make note of that number. Was it a, an Excelsior or an Orion? It might've been both, cause they were, they were both, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, they were both uh, bunched up, so, uh, and unfortunately, the 32 bus is one, so I guess now, going to Kipling, and then taking the subway over, and back home is the slowest way. I, man, I really should listen to myself and just hop on the damn 32. So, I mean, most of it's, I mean, 90% of the time, when I'm at Renforth, or when I go to Renforth, I always take the 32. So I think that's what I'm gonna do from now on. I'm not gonna go down. I'm, not, I'm no longer gonna go down to Kipling Station. Oh yeah, and on top of that, I mean, it was around like 6:30. Normally, when I go when I when I go to the subway platforms, like there's always a train or two there. There was none, so we had to like wait like five minutes for one, which is ridiculous, honestly. So I was kind of I was kind of pissed. I, I could have been home like much earlier. Have I just got on the 32? And just forget the 109. But I had a free transfer, so... That's kind of why I almost took... I took advantage of my way. But lesson learned, you know, I've been doing this for so many years, so... There's just so many things you have to learn when it comes to, like, waiting for a single... For, like, what whatever route and what... And, like, how you should get to your destination. Like, I've, I've had to comp contemplate with many different routes before. It's It's... Honestly, sometimes a little bit overwhelming, to be honest. Okay. I didn't realize how freaking busy this area is. Yeah, you see here, they were doing like water main replacing. Well, like, sorry. They were doing like water main replacements and the uh, road re resurfacing here, right? Hello, Mr. Squirrel, where are you headed to? Yeah, they were doing a lot of work here uh, last year. And that's kind of why I wanted to uh, make this video because, you know, it's gonna be better than the video I did even though, you know, last time was on a camera. Now I'm literally like, like hand holding the the hand holding the phone here, if that's even a word, you know. Here's Berwick Avenue and some fairly new uh, townhouse slash apartments here. And we're gonna get, and we're about like half a kilometer away from uh, Eglinton Avenue. Yeah, maybe this this is a better thumbnail, that's for sure. I 
And, you know, Young and Eglinton has really, really changed over the past 15 years. All you see now is just freaking condos everywhere, man. Everywhere condos. Generic ones, too. Which is honestly, you know, crazy to me. I mean, there used to be some great uh, places here at Young and Eglinton. I remember it well, but it was in the 2010s, well, mid to late 2010s, early 2020s, that uh, Young and Eglinton was really much of a construction shit show because of the uh, LRT construction. Now we're just sitting here waiting. When the hell is it going to open? There is Eglinton Subway and LRT station. Lines 1 and 5. Is that an OG hybrid? No, it's an NG hybrid. Never mind. <laughs> and by the way, this here... There used to be a bus garage here. The old Eglinton garage. And then in 2002, the new Eglinton garage opened up on Comstock Road in Scarborough. And, uh, and then a few years later, or is it actually no, it was two years later, they decided to move the, the, the bus terminal from outdoors into the old uh, garage. Originally, it was supposed to be temporary, but I guess they made it permanent since... Oh, speaking of an OG hybrid, there's one. 1005. Oh man, this is amazing. Woohoo! Yeah, buddy. Just by chance. Just by freaking chance. By the way, people were often coming in for here. Like this is not a, this is not an entrance or exit. But uh, recently they decided to put up this barrier here, and with the help of fair inspectors, now nobody's been uh, going in through there. But unfortunately, people like to say, "Oh, we don't have money," or or like this is like an easier way. Sure, it may be an easier way, but it's an illegal entry. Like just enter the station through a freaking entrance or something. This is a police station here, Division something. Alright, we're gonna make this light here, guys. Oh shit. Woo! We made it. We made it, y'all. And now let's cross back to the other side here. This here was an office building and it didn't even take them long to completely dismantle it. Like every time I was coming here, they were making a lot of like great progress on it. But yeah, no longer is an office building. It's just, uh, just a pile of uh, very small land and who knows what they're gonna use this for, seriously. I mean, they could add another entrance to the station here, but I guess we're way past that now. But yeah, again, just to show, so many, so many things have really changed in this neighborhood. It's just so, so much. But yeah, as I was saying, back there, people were illegally entering the station through the uh, bus bays. And that's when uh, TTC took notice of them. And they added fare inspectors, like, one of the last few times I was waiting for the bus there at Eglinton, there were some, there were like four fare inspectors, and I saw that they were directing people away from that illegal point of entry. And then they finally added up a, a, a proper barrier signage. And I noticed that in the video, I didn't even see anybody going in.
Now around here is just a lot more high rises combined with all these uh, with all these typical homes you see here in Midtown. Here's Orchard View. It's almost 2 p.m. now. I gotta I gotta be back home around four because a Rogers technician is coming over. We thought we had like serious problems this again. The modem, was, the modem wasn't working. Like the internet was disconnected. And then it just went, and then it's, now it's just operating like as normal, but the mo like something's so wrong with the modem. So got a technician coming over. Around four. So this would be fun to, uh, that's gonna be fun to deal with. <laughs> and this here is, this here is new too. By the way, we are in uh, Strides Land. This is where uh, Johnny lives. But guess what? He's not here right now. He's in Tokyo. Oh, look at this. Look at that. We have a squirrel eating an apple as a snack. That is crazy. Right outside someone's doorstep. What are you looking at, boy? Come on, just eat your freaking snack. Well, I'm gonna grab a picture here. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty hilarious. I don't often see squirrels having, like, big snacks. I bet you whoever lives over there probably gave him an apple. And so now, and so he's feeding on it. Anyway, I was able to grab my picture before he just ran away. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna end up. I'm gonna end this video up at uh, Rose Lawn, and then I'll just walk back down. And take the bus from the subway station. That is a really nice uh, glass bubble. I wonder what's in there. Oh, you see here? They want to get rid of all these homes here for more condos. It's ridiculous. Uh, and there's another squirrel here. Scaredy squirrel. <sighs> here we are, Rose on Avenue. I thought it had like a signalized intersection, but it's actually Castlefield that has one. So I thought I had to walk further. I guess not. Oh, we got another one there too, just sitting on the tree. All right guys, well, now I gotta edit this video too because I stopped my video to take a picture of the squirrel eating the uh, apple. Just two and a half minutes already. It's of a second clip here. All right guys, so, uh, Thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, stay tuned for more videos. Check out my others as well. I'm not sure how busy I'll be uh, the coming weeks as, the, again, I just started school, but at least I'm still making videos, and I will, uh, I will try to do that more often as I can, but uh, no promises. No promises. Anyway, then I'll walk uh, probably 10 minutes to get down to the subway here. And then take the 52 bus over to the grocery store, and then I'll just, uh, that'll be it. Just a very short and sweet outing. Probably going to take like 90 minutes. All right, guys. Take care. Adios. And bye-bye.